The story of the Divine Masculine is played out in the movie Monsters, Inc. So let's use this film to talk about the dignities of Mars and the Sun, which are the planets that represent the Divine Masculine. The first sign of the zodiac is Aries, which is ruled by Mars. So Mars is in its home sign or its domicile in Aries. And this is also where the sun is exalted. So Aries represents a soldier on the front line, somebody charging courageously headfirst into battle despite the danger of it all. This is represented by the scare floor. So Sully owning that scare floor is the sun exalted in Aries and Mars domiciled in Aries. He feels at home when he's on the scare floor. And of course, he is the top scarer. He's number one on the scare leaderboard, which is an example of the sun being exalted in Aries. Mars is in its detriment in Taurus. Taurus is the sign that talks about the gentler, softer side of light, romantic date night, sitting down for a nice meal. And Mars, or Sully, is very clearly out of place at this romantic dinner. He is intruding on this romantic date night, and he is ruining the, the vibe. Mars is in its fall in Cancer. Cancer is the sign that talks about early childhood development, caretaking, maternal instincts, all of that. And Mars, which is this brutish, strong soldier type, is very uncomfortable with those responsibilities. Mars doesn't really know how to take care of a child. Very foreign notion to him. And you can see the awkwardness and discomfort when Sully first realizes that he is stuck with this kid. Mars and Cancer talks about the strong, independent, brutish man having to make personal sacrifices in order to take care of a baby. It's something that he doesn't want to do. He's like, I worked my whole life for this king size bed, and now I'm going to let a baby take my bed from me? Like, what the fuck? The next sign, Leo, is the, the sign ruled by the sun. So the sun is in its home sign or its domicile in Leo. This is the energy of a celebrity, somebody who has a spotlight put on them. Very high visibility. It's the sign that rules over broadcasting, getting your message across to a wide audience. And so Sully being featured in this TV commercial and on the covers of magazines is very much the sun domiciled in Leo. It is a celebrity who feels right at home, in all of the publicity and the limelight. We'll come back to Mike Wazowski in another video. He represents Mercury, who is not a celebrity. Mercury is the help. That's the person who is assisting and making sure that things are being done correctly and doesn't necessarily receive the visibility or the acclaim that the celebrity does. Libra is the sign that is opposite Aries, and so the Sun and Mars are in opposite dignities when they're in Libra. Instead of being in its domicile, Mars is in its detriment. Instead of it being in its exaltation, the Sun is in its fall in Libra. Libra is the sign that talks about peace and balance, harmony between two individuals, and Sully and Boo developed quite a close friendship. They had a one-on-one -on -one connection, and that relationship gets damaged when he brings his Martian energy into the relationship. Boo accidentally witnesses him in this scare demonstration, and it damages their relationship. This is an example of Mars in its detriment in Libra, bringing force, aggression, and overly independent energy into a connection, and it damaging the connection as a result. The sun is in its fall in Libra because Libra is the sign that talks about putting someone else's needs and desires before your own. The sun is a very independent and self-centered energy. The solar system literally revolves around the sun. And so when the sun, when the divine masculine has to put the needs of somebody else first, that courage and vitality dims and the, they're kind of forced to dim their shine in order to satisfy somebody else's needs so when boo gets lost in this factory instead of being focused on his job instead of being glued to the scare floor like he normally is he's running around these hallways looking for his friend boo and the courage and fearlessness that sully normally exhibits falls away when he thinks that his friend is in danger when he thinks that he wasn't able to protect this person whose needs he was putting before his own now, Mars and its domicile of Scorpio, the other sign ruled by Mars, is a very different expression of Mars, and for this we're going to use Randall as an example. Randall, just like Sully, is a top scarer. He's second on the leaderboard in the scare floor. That feeling of not being the best and wishing you were the best, of, of being second instead of first, is this feeling of rejection or this like desire to achieve something that you don't have. Randall can't beat Sully on the scare floor, so he has to resort to alternative means if he wants to win. He has to cheat. And so he creates this underground lab, 
Scorpio rules underground, all things that happen beneath the surface. And this is where he invents the Scream Extractor, which allows him to artificially inflate his scare numbers. Mars and its domicile of Scorpio is not going to win a fight with brute force or skill alone. They are going to have to outsmart their opponent, do something in order to push the odds in their favor, even if it means sneaking around and doing something sketchy and cheating. Now, Mr. Water News is a representation of Saturn. Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn and represents the boss and CEO, the person in control and at the top of the corporate hierarchy. Monsters Incorporated is very much a representation of Capricorn. Also, Saturn is known for energy harvesting, especially from children. And so Mr. Water News is running this whole energy harvesting operation. This movie is a conversation on energy harvesting, in case y'all didn't realize. With the Aquarius expression of Saturn, they are not relying on the traditional means, like the scare floor. Instead, they are willing to take things to the next level and push the envelope with innovations that sometimes fly a little too close to the sun. This is when Mr. Water News is collaborating with Randall on the Scream Extractor because he knows that that will improve the energy harvest for Monsters Incorporated. Mars is exalted in Capricorn, and this represents that young, ambitious powerhouse who is exalted by the boss and CEO, the person who is exploiting them and really appreciates how productive they are. But the thing about Mars in Capricorn is that Mars is only exalted when it plays by the rules. The second Mars does not submit to the control and domination of Saturn, then Mars gets disposed and replaced by someone who is more subservient. Now remember, the Sun and Mars both represent the Divine Masculine, but Mars is much more willing to submit to the control and power of the leader, where the Sun is the leader. They lead their own life. They are not submitting to anyone. The the Sun represents the King or the ruler of their own life. And so when Sully makes the decision to defy Waternoos and continue interacting with Boo, he is then exiled in Aquarius. When Waternoose steps the limit up, acts as Saturn, and exiles Sully from Monsters, Inc. into the wilderness. He is then stuck with the Abominable Snowman, who is the Uranus expression of Aquarius. He is this big, beastly person who is actually really just misunderstood and a little bit quirky. Sully being exiled from Monsters, Inc. into the ice cold tundra is the sun in its exile in Aquarius or its detriment. Exile and detriment are the same thing. But when all is said and done, Sully does eventually return from the wilderness and he actually ends up replacing Waternoose as the new CEO of Monsters, Inc. In their relationship with Boo, they realized that laughter and joy was much more powerful than any fear that was being harvested. And so he turns the scare floor into a laugh floor. This represents the modern expression of Aquarius. In the traditional expression of Aquarius, which is ruled by Saturn, there is technological innovation, there is pushing things to the next limit, but it's represented by Waternoose, who is devising this evil, dark technology, the Scream Extractor, in order to get his numbers up. The modern expression of Aquarius talks about not just innovating, but revolutionizing the process so that it works better for everyone and not just a select few. Instead of these children having to be scared and have the life force sucked out of them by these monsters, now everyone can have a laugh and it works twice as good to power the city so everyone wins in the end. Sully, as the new CEO of Monsters, Inc. is a representation of Uranus in its domicile or rulership of Aquarius. This is also a representation of the sun in its domicile in Leo. We're not talking about magazine covers and TV commercials. This time we're talking about leadership. Um, It's not just about celebrity. It's about a king on his throne, someone who is the rightful heir to the throne, who is divinely chosen to be the leader, somebody who leads with strength and courage and fearlessness, as opposed to somebody who relies on fear in order to control the population. That's it for today's episode of Astrology and Media. Uh, Make sure you like and follow, subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and share it with your friends who want to learn more about astrology through media like this.